Welcome to Africa. Welcome to Tarangir National Park, a magical place where hundreds of animal species are coexisting with one another. A true balance of nature. And I'm very fascinated by this continent and my safari trip to Tanzania has been incredibly rewarding. In today's video, I will take you on a journey to this national park where I'll vlog everything that we do and see. You'll be amazed by the crazy moments we're gonna experience in this video. So, shall we start? Let's go. We have arrived, 16 hours. Oof, it's a good temperature here, 25 degrees, something like that. So now let's get through security check through customs and find our transfer. So we're going with this truck. We have Brilliant Adventures and Safaris booked. They're solo and they're literally everywhere, those safari trucks. It's so cool. We're gonna drive an hour to the hotel where we're gonna be staying tonight. Tomorrow, the safari tour will begin. So they will pick us up early in the morning. We don't know what time yet, but the safari starts tomorrow. So today we can relax a little bit. There is a spa hotel, which is amazing. We've been traveling for such a long time. So we can use the power nap or siesta, how we like them in Spain. Tanzania. Community, the union, Based. on both sides. On this side going up and on the other side going up. Because we have uh, Mount Kilimanjaro to their left. As we were driving, we passed a lot of farmers with their cows, sheep and goats. And on the way, we passed through some cute villages with a lot of people everywhere, walking and cycling everywhere. Get some coffee, Saul. Yes, wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Look what we got. Yes. And they gave us personalized coffee mugs with our names on it. It's so yeah. cute. We are ready, ready right, Saul? Yes. Ready to go. It was funny because Salo, he texted me when he was still in Brazil, like, I don't have a safari hat. Do you know in Amsterdam where I can get one? one. And I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And he was like, oh no, damn. So we all go on a safari without a safari hat. And look what we got. We're very happy. Not that you need much because I think like, most of the drive is inside the car, right? Ah, when you open yes. up, you need it a lot. Ah, we open up. Oh, we open up. Oh, we open up. Yeah. Oh, oh, we open up. up. <laughs> this can be open up. <laughs> awesome. You really need that hat. That's good. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're providing it. Otherwise, yes. Oh. We arrived at our hotel Gran Melia in Arusha and we pulled up on a driveway which looked incredible. It was so beautiful. They helped us get out of the car. The lobby was amazing. Look how beautiful. Guys, we arrived in our hotel. Look, the beds and this view. They have a coffee farm kind of a thing going on here. Beautiful. He's having his dinner <laughs> with the beautiful views. We moved to the table because we're gonna have dinner here as well. And the views are spectacular. It's almost sunset. Oh guys, it's amazing. My hair looks terrible because I just took a shower. We ordered food already, so let's see how that looks and tastes, obviously. Whoa. And look what solo has. That looks amazing. Enjoy. Oh my god, I was just about to eat and we started shaking. It was an earthquake. This was the first time in my life. What did we just experience? Earthquake. Yes. Oh my god. I was literally about to grab a bite from my burger and it literally, I literally started shaking. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it was a 5.6 earthquake and it was the first time in my life. So, well, let's continue with the video. Good morning, it's 7 a.m. We just woke up. We're gonna go down to get some breakfast and then we finish packing our bags because the guy is gonna pick us up with the Jeep truck, the safari truck to go on the safari today. We slept for an amazing 10 hours at least. We went to bed very early yesterday, but we needed it. We slept so long and so good as well. I just took a quick shower because I don't know what to expect during the safari and I really love good showers. So that one was really nice. We're gonna go down to grab a cup of coffee now and then we'll be on our way. 
I'm gonna go for the scrambled eggs, I think. There's so many different ones. Nice. And the beans. Yes. So we take two juices. They also have watermelon juice. Nice. Bon appetit. Oh, delicious. As you can see, they're like only safari trucks here. Literally. So, here we go. We start the day. Ready. The temperature here is different in that summit now. Oh, now in East Africa, the biggest one, maybe it would be in Africa, is Kibera in Kenya. Kenya, yes. That's crazy. Gabriel, our guide and driver for this whole safari, he told us that it's about one and a half hour drive to the first national park and we're gonna spend there the whole day driving around, spotting animals and then we'll stay over there at an amazing lodge as well. They are really prepared, they have this box full of popcorn, cakes, look at that. They even gave us a bottle of wine. White. White wine. And there's a, a cool box full of water. You can even charge your phone here. It's crazy. These guys are taking good care of us. Here, really? It's red. Oh, it's red? <laughs> oh, it's red. It's a medium, medium body. Oh, good, good. Zebritas! Zebra. We're gonna do our best to spot the five animals of the big five. We're gonna make a small checklist here at the bottom of the screen and we will be checking off the animals that we see. This is the first zebra we see. First animals. Hi. We saw a lot of animals already, but this is the first wildlife wild animals. Life. Zebras. Zebras. Bye, zebra. Dog zebras. Oh, look at their asses. So cute, Marty from Madagascar. We're dressed in us. camouflage here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is my job. Yeah, I was no. Amazing. As we left the city behind us, more and more Maasai villages appeared. So we went from Arusha all the way to the national park, a one and a half hour drive. And no, the roads were not that good. Here we are. There's so many, so many safari cars. Look at that. It's crazy. Everyone is waiting to get into the park. Well, we're gonna pee very quickly and then we'll be on our way. It's already getting so hot. I think it's around like 23 degrees now. And uh, he's already taken off his jacket. I'm kind of keeping it on because my shirt is pretty wrinkled. Um, but we're looking for the toilets to quickly pee. Completely in style. Perfect. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> nice one. The ground looks like granola. Breakfast. <laughs> Don't you think so? Yeah. All right. This looks good. Solid. Let's see. Perfect. Hell yeah. So then, this is the last thing that was missing. Perfect. We have entered the park and we see an impala. Nice. Here are more impalas, a whole herd. So cute. The entry fee for this park is 53 US dollars and the best time to visit is between June and October during the dry season. There were so many zebras where they were so special in the beginning when we first saw them. Now they are literally everywhere and they love standing on the road. So you come very close to them as well. What is there? Elephant over there. Oh yes. Hello elephant. He's alone. Is he alone? It's a male. Oh, it's a male. He's looking for a herd. We actually came very close to the elephant so we had to stay quiet to not disturb him. The Terengir National Park has only one river, the Terengir River. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's the only water source in the area. 
As we were driving deeper into the park, we used our binoculars all the time to stop quickly and have a look around to see if we can spot some lions maybe in the distance. This park truly gave me Lion King vibes. Like, since as far as your eyes can look, you see savanna, you see the yellow grass and the trees up there. This park is full of zebras. We've seen so many already. And of course, there were also other safari trucks in the park. The park has over 500 different bird species, and they are so beautiful. These flies! <laughs> they, they, they attack you, and they stay on you, and they, they stick you. So what is there? Oh, shit. And two zebras, right there. And the ostrich. We've seen uh, more. We've seen ostrich, elephant, antelope. Eagle. Oh. What? Impala. Impalas. The eagle. The falco. Oh yeah, the eagle. brown snake eagle. Yeah. So many animals. And they seem to be very used to the cars because they're looking at us and they're like, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, they don't care. The, the pack of zebras, that herd of the zebras, they just crossed the road right in front of us. They were like standing on the side of the road. What are you disturbing us? Tranquilo. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, look at them. And the trees here are big. There's some big trees from the Lion King, you know? Same, right? Yes. <laughs> Baby is sleeping, mom is at the back of the herd, and the two daddies are protecting the baby. After watching these elephants for a couple of minutes, we decided to continue driving and we stumbled across a new animal, an animal that we haven't seen before. So here we have baby Shiraf with her mommy. Look, right there. And we were able to witness a very special moment. Both mom and the baby were running over the street. And it's very special to see these animals run because they run in such a different way than other animals. And of course, we passed another herd of zebras. It's been an incredible day so far. We've seen so many different animals. Amazing. Well, it's time to find ourselves a tree to have lunch because we're getting a bit hungry after seeing all these beautiful animals. And we have so much more to see, so we need some food. I have white shoes, not a very good choice, but... We stopped the jeep at a tree where we wanted to have lunch. But when Gabriel, our guide, looked up, he saw this massive killer bee's nest. Apparently they are African killer bees and they could be very dangerous because they are attracted to the smell of water and food. So if we were gonna have lunch under that tree, we would have been in danger. So we grabbed our stuff and drove to another tree where we could have lunch. Under a tree with no bees. In Barcelona. <laughs> That's a whole table. It's a real picnic. In the middle of nowhere. We are here, we have so much food, we have rice, we have pasta, we have everything. It's a brilliant lunch. Because I think, honestly, I've already told Salo, this is the most beautiful place. Yeah, I think this is the most beautiful place I had lunch in my life. And for you? Yes, the same. I agree. Look where we are. It's so quiet. There's no sound. Only birds and me talking. <laughs> Which is pretty annoying. <laughs> After the amazing lunch in the most beautiful spot I've ever had lunch, we continued our safari in search for amazing animals. You had a good lunch? It was delicious. Now I'm digesting the food. And enjoying the ride because we're not even halfway. No. A little bit of advice, if a lion attacks you, you don't run away, you don't make any noise, something like that, you move slowly. The thing is, if a lion kills a human, 
the lion has to be killed. And I know now why. Because I was always like, why do people have to kill them? Because whatever, the lion is living his life, right? And that's nature. Those things happen. But actually, the lion has to be killed because human flesh is so delicious, they don't want anything else. So they keep looking for humans to kill and to eat because their flesh is so delicious. So that makes sense. If a lion kills a human, it has to be killed because otherwise none of the other humans in that community is safe. But the question is, are we gonna see the lions today? So apparently everyone is here at this tree. There might be something going on. Well, we had a look and apparently it's a leopard chill in there. We're gonna see if we can get closer, but everyone is obviously waiting so long in front of it to take pictures, videos and all that. So let's see, we're close. So there was a leopard, but everyone was queuing up when we saw them with our bare eyes. They're like, we just keep calling. Because literally everyone is there, like they have portos, and they're just screaming to everyone like, ah, here's something, and then everyone goes there. It's crazy. Oh, here are the, the elephants. And the male was a bit closer to us, scratching his back against the tree. After watching him for like 15 minutes, he decided to walk towards the road we were standing on. And yes, you guessed it right, this resulted into a magical moment. And now, if you have been following me on Polar Steps, you've been looking forward to this very moment. Because now I'm going to show you a piece of footage that I recorded, a once in a lifetime situation where elephants are attacking lions. Hold your breath, because this is going to be fascinating. You see it? Oh, the them all a lot. The he attacks, he attacks. He attacks. Look at that. We'll kill these lions. They're coming this way. Are you recording? Yes. You see the cubs are coming here? Yes. <laughs> you see the cubs? Yes. Yeah. Well, the moms are still up there, so mom should go this way too. Wasn't that exciting? Oh my gosh, it was even more exciting when we were really there, like in that moment. We continued our drive and we stumbled across another herd of elephants and another magical moment happened. Look at this. All right, it's getting later and later, and now it is time to drive towards the lodge where we will be staying. It's gonna be kind of look serious, kind of not. So I'm very excited to arrive and see everything. I'll show you guys in a minute. First, a few more videos of this day, what we've seen, and then in a few moments, we will arrive in the camp. We've seen so many animals already, crazy. The most beautiful birds, zebras, elephants, giraffe, everything, ostrich. And they're all looking at us like, what you doing here? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> He's cute. Hello. Yeah. All right, we've arrived in our camp. We've been literally inside the safari jeep for the whole day. They picked us up at eight and it is 5.30 now. So the whole day of seeing a lot of animals. Oh, we're tired, are you tired? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very curious what the tent looks like. They are in the middle of nowhere on a hill. No fans whatsoever. So it could possibly be that tomorrow we wake up, we open the tent doors and there's a zebras or elephants there. So. Let's see what we're gonna experience here. The guys are so friendly, they did not let us carry our own bags. So this is the bed. It is huge. Two persons bed. A mirror with drinking water. Here you have the sink. That's me. And then here, if you open this up. Boom. Toilet. If you open this up, shower 
somewhere. There it is. So we have 20 liters of water per person and Salo is gonna take a shower today already and tomorrow a quick one but it's probably cold water I forgot to ask but if it's cold water then I'm probably not even gonna use the 20 liters but if it's hot water maybe it is a huge tent honestly the night is falling and we're walking to the dinner buffet we've seen so many things today it's truly been an amazing day we're here Having dinner. And yeah, that's it. Delicious. Mm. This was our Tarangir experience. Thank you so much for watching. Right now we are traveling to the Gora Gora Crater National Park where we're gonna see so many animals that are trapped. It's promised to be one of the most magical safari parks in Tanzania. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel as well. But don't miss out on the Gora Gora Safari vlog. Click here on the video in screen to go watch it. Thanks again and I'll see you at the next video.